Also, teacher tip, buy a bag for yourself, unless you're on a diet, but these ones are my favorite. They're like the fruitiest, I guess. Orange. Cherry. All the flavors. I hate licorice. Don't buy the ones with the black. Does anybody like those? Hey everyone, I'm Susan Jones, and thank you for coming back for another video. This week, I have a seasonal game called the Jelly Bean Game. So it's an Easter game, and whether you're teaching about the Easter Bunny, or you don't talk about Easter at all, or you are at a Catholic school like I went to, and you're learning about the resurrection of Jesus, either way, you usually tend to have jelly beans in your classroom. Or if for some reason you can't have any treats in your classroom, you could easily send this game home. Um, you could give the students a couple jelly beans and a little baggie and a couple directions on how to play, or just send them the directions as an option for students to play on their spring break or their Easter break with their parents. Let's dive in! For this game, all you're going to need is some jelly beans. Um, in case you're wondering, Starburst are my favorite. They are delicious. I know a lot of people like to do jelly bean graphing, which you can totally do. Um, if you're going to have the jelly beans anyway, this is just another mouth activity that you could do. Again, it's called the jelly bean game. I have called it jelly bean races in the past, and you'll see why. All you're going to need for this game are some jelly beans, and you'll want to pair students up, or you can put them in groups. It's up to you. And you will want a cup, I got a nice solo cup here, um, you want a cup or a bag where they cannot see the color of the jelly beans. You just need like a big handful of jelly beans in there of all assorted colors. So other than the big cup of jelly beans, what I like to have is just some blank scrap paper for students to practice their addition on. And then I also do either, you can either do it on the paper, you can just like draw two circles where they would keep their jelly beans, or you can just use little Dixie cups because every time they pick a jelly bean, they're going to go ahead and put it in their pile to double check their work. So after you have all your jelly beans in a cup, what you are going to want to do as the teacher is make the key. So this will be based on the type of jelly beans you purchased. So in my bag there were six different colors. We had red, purple, green, yellow, pink, and orange. And I drew the jelly beans up there with some numbers next to them. That is going to be how much each jelly bean is worth. In my first grade classroom, these would be some numbers that would be appropriate and quick for them to add at this time in the year. So we have 5, 10, 1, 2, 0, or 20. So basically students would take turns putting their hand inside the jelly bean, picking out a jelly bean that they cannot see, a red one, okay, so red equals five. So this student, like I said, I would then have them put it in their little Dixie cup so they can hold it, or if you would like it to be more visible, like I said, a plain piece of paper with a circle, they can draw the circle themselves just to keep that jelly bean in there. And that student would have five. So when you're playing this game, you can do it a few different ways. You can have a goal number that students need to hit. Maybe it is with a 20 up there, you might want them to get to 100 or 50. Um, and so the first student, they would go back and forth and keep picking and adding until they get to 50 and that student would win. Or you could do it where students are taking turns and maybe each student gets 10 turns so they can pick 10 jelly beans to put in their little cup and whoever has the highest sum wins. The reason I like to have them keep their little jelly beans is because I like to have them check their work. So when one student thinks that they have gotten to 50 or 100 or whatever the target number you have for them, they need to then lay out their um, jelly beans. They can go ahead and sort them to help them add even faster and double check their work to make sure they got there. I definitely like to make sure that they have some sort of scrap paper so that way as they are getting the jelly beans they can go ahead and add it up whether they are doing um, just basic addition on their paper, making tally marks, however they need to. It's totally up to them. If you teach kindergarten, you can make those numbers lower. If you teach second grade, you can make those numbers higher. You could also go ahead and make instead of a zero, like that's kind of a fun, oh no, I got one, this doesn't count for anything. Um, you could make any of those subtraction. And what I would do in first and second grade, since we don't go into negative numbers, is you know if they get lower than zero, it just counts as zero. So you've been totally canceled out. So I would do that too. That would make the game go on a little longer if you wanted to do that. If you weren't planning on using this game in your classroom and you wanted to send it home as just an optional activity over the break, you could go ahead and grab a printable uh, template that I wrote, a letter to parents to see how to play. That is in the description below, so you can grab that. I hope you enjoyed this quick and simple Easter game. You could also play this during any time of year. I have played this game with M&M races during Halloween. Uh, you could even do this with different color erasers. It doesn't have to be with a treat, but it's a fun and seasonal game that you could kind of switch up to use whenever you'd like. If you haven't already, please give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and make sure you hit subscribe and click the bell. That way you're notified every single week of my new game. Thanks for watching. Bye! 
Also, side note, since students will be sticking their hands in the same bag or the same cup, I don't generally let them eat these jelly beans. These ones I say we use for math, but I'll make sure to give them some clean ones for them to eat too.